Hey guys, my name is Jade. Welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm going to show off a TNT cannon I created and uploaded to Planet Minecraft. Um, if you want to go check it out there and download it, the username is StarWarrior25. Um, and you can go download it and have some fun with this, use it in your worlds, whatever. Anyway, this is the cannon. And as you can see, if you know anything about TNT cannons, it's quite different. Um, it's very small, number one. And so you might think it can't shoot very far. Well, that would be indeed false. This cannon uses one TNT as the uh, propelling the explosive charge. But it uses, on the other hand, instead of Minecraft uh, TNT blocks, it uses Minecraft's minecarts. They're TNT minecarts. And when I stack them like this, that's been three, four, and five. When I stack them this like this, they all kind of clump in the same exact spot. Meaning when we tried to get TNT to kind of fall in the spot, we'd have to do this fancy timing stuff and require big uh, cannons to try to pull that off. Well, with this, as soon as the, like, the TNT carts are moved, and if I get too close and bump them, they will actually explode. So as soon as they move, they explode. Now how this contraption works, as soon as I press the button, the TNT will be lit and it will activate this torch, detracting the piston, pulling away that block, dropping the, the uh, minecarts into water, and exploding it. And this will happen within like a fraction of a second. So we're going to show it off in three, two, one. And it's gone. So as you can see, the possibilities for this are just enormous. Um, I've been working on other versions that can shoot it in different ways, maybe an up high one or just straight out. But the possibilities for this one are just enormous with the capability of stacking, as I believe, an unlimited amount of TNT um, until your computer can't handle it anymore. <laughs> so don't bog down your computer, that's not good. You might crash the game, but you might end up with an enormous hole on the other, or not, not with this, anyway, unfortunately. but. You might crash your computer and kill everything around it if you're standing next to it. So, while I'm in creative mode and can't be hurt, that is the fortunate part. Okay, there we go. And fire. And I thought that time was a little bit faster. The only drawback with this is the fact that this rail needs to be placed. And it doesn't, it, it can just be you know, a normal rail. But, you know, rails are a little expensive in, in, in terms of iron. But, I mean, if you're all the time hunting for it, it's not that bad. And it does use a lot of iron on the TNT cards. So that's why I suggest you get a lot of these beforehand. If you're doing this pure survival, yeah, that's where the cutback is. You can't just use normal TNT, unfortunately. So anyway, um, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to stand in here and launch myself. Oh, boy. Ready? Two, one. No, we didn't get shot that far. Sometimes it's different, but it generally always shoots out at about the same height. The good thing is it always shoots dead straight on. If I removed these two blocks, it would have kind of this sway pattern. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Um, I hope you like this cannon. If you want to, go to my um, Planet Minecraft page. I'll put a link in the description. And you can go download it and test it out. Try it on your world, worlds. Um, and I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Subscribe below or like or comment on this video. That'd be awesome. I'd love it. So, anyway, guys, Jade out.